Okay, so let's talk SMB compression. I'm going to start with the administrators out there, the command liners. Uh, here I am. I've got a great big file, a big VHD that I've mounted up. And I put um, some pictures in it, you know, JPEGs, things that won't compress. So I've got a 20 gig file. It's you know got a, a couple hundred megabytes of uncompressible data, uh, like my dog right there, Darby. And I'm going to use this file as a way to demonstrate compression. So I'm just going to eject this you know, disk, this VHD, and I'm going to robocopy it the way I've been doing, you know, my whole life for decades. And here I am copying this file, right? So getting decent throughput. Just here ticking along here, uh, five percent. And if you look at the network, I got about a one gigabit connection here, and I'm using it. I mean, SMB is cranking, using the whole pipe, getting that file going as, as fast as it possibly can, right? We are limited by the network right now. So I'm going, and I've time compressed this because it's really boring to copy a file. And um, two minutes, 43 seconds, you know, almost three minutes. That's a really acceptable speed. It's going as fast as it really can right now, okay? So, now I'm going to RoboCopy with this new Compress option. So let me delete that file off of my server, and I'm going to run that exact same copy again, exact same file. I'm going along here, it looks about the same speed, except look how much faster it's going now. Um, because of compression, all that white space in the file is being uh, taken out of the equation, and now I'm not using one gigabit, I'm using one and a half megabit. I'm using more CPU. These are really old CPUs in my demo, 12-year-old um, processors. But uh, I'm not time compressing this demo. This is all real time while I'm talking. And look at that. I went from about three minutes down to about 30 seconds on the exact same file on the exact same network. So that's command line copying, which you know is great for admins. But what about your end users? They're probably using Explorer, right? Not RoboCopy. Let's see what that experience is like. What if I map them a drive using their login script and I map it with request compression? And they just, whenever they copy files to that share, we try to use compression. Let's do it. So here I've done, I take that same 20 gig file and, uh, oh, it's going fast again. Look at that. Notice how I didn't use RoboCopy at all. This is very dope. All right, so what if I just want to configure compression on the server itself? Never mind login scripts and RoboCopy. Uh, let's give this a try through Windows Admin Center. So remember this demo we're doing now? I've got this public share, and uh, I'm going to go to Windows Admin Center on that file server and edit the properties of this public share. I'm going to click on Edit Share right now, and notice this option right down here, Compress Data. Boink. Go ahead and turn that on, and that's that's there's no reboot or any shenanigans. That's just it just starts working. And so now anybody copying to that share, no matter how they got there, gets compression attempted at least for free. So here it goes. I'm doing my copy, and it's going to get nice and fast, just like if I had done RoboCopy or Map to Drive. Very slick, right?